Hi guys, welcome back to Ted Robot FM. I am Ed. Today I'm carrying on showing off some USM2 stuff. Uh, I think I know of a couple of quick little hints and tips for the game which I'm not introducing during my Woking playthrough series. We'll see how this goes, but um, hopefully if you decide to download it through my other video which I've yet to make, but I'm hopefully making a DOSBox video. I'm sure you can see it all online, but it's for an everyman. If you don't know how to use DOSBox or download it or get games for it, I'll quickly show you. It should be alright. Um, hopefully it's fine. But yeah, if you're looking forward to the video and you're enjoying the other content on the channel, please do drop a like and a sub and obviously comment with any feedback you got. That'd be great. Thank you very much. We'll start with Stevenage Borough with 50,000 in the conference. We start with 56,000 pounds in the bank. So one of the first hints and tips I've seen, which I hope works out, is you get a load of staff, right? And with a lot of uh, number based games there are rollover points and things like that where if you do so much of something it basically ticks over to be a minus any coach will do give them as much wages as you can to so go full nines as much as you can click ok obviously if he gets paid that that's a nightmare but if we go to offer him a contract minus 13 million pounds a week which we will accept very happily so he's quite happy with his minus 13 million pounds a week so we're on 56,000 as of right now this might be more than a week that skips through because of friendlies but if we check the bank balance in a second there you go a week has passed two weeks have passed and we've got 27 million in the bank so that is banging and you can of course do this with as many members of staff as you like I mean it is a glitch obviously it's a it's an awful glitch it's a horrific glitch we're gonna end up with a ton of money in a second but if we look at the accounts yeah we're just we're absolutely rolling in cash so it's just it's, it's crazy and obviously you can then just go and like absolutely just fill up your stadium completely all of a sudden that costs three million that's sorted mate look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful lovely stuff the other main tip i have seen is to do with player training so as far as i'm aware you have to have no coaches so we've got to actually give this guy a wage of one and then we will fire him which will cost very little and what you should be able to do is you go into your individual training you should be able to select yeah it doesn't show up with anything there but if we stick everyone on high intensity uh, so you're going to hear some horrible clicking for a second. So it'll actually say that you are training someone. Look, you can see there, it comes up with something, it just doesn't highlight. So, apparently, if you stick everyone on whatever you want them to grow by, within a couple of weeks, depending on their age, it will go up by one. So over the course of a season, your players should become pretty crazy. So I'm going to give that a quick trial. Uh, what we're going to do is just improve everyone's base attributes so the keepers can do keeping defenders can do tackling uh, midfielders can do passing man that's a lot of midfielders and then strikers can do um, striking I suppose and we'll see if that works so for example Barry Hales is on 36 we all love Barry Hales that is a classic name so we'll see how he's getting on within a few weeks so I'll see you then so about a month has passed and what you can see is, uh, in fact, you can see it as you scroll down them. Um, started at 43, now at 45 after four weeks. So all these players are going up by two. I don't think there's going to be any more for anyone. I guess it maybe some of the younger players improved by more. But yeah, Barry Hale started at 36, now 38. So if I meet you in something like December, we should see some of these guys actually improving quite drastically. The only thing I think you should keep a vague eye on, I don't know, I haven't seen anything online to tell me otherwise, obviously if you're paying well you just start paying you so much money uh, per week i assume there's a rollover point for your cash as well and you end up going bankrupt so don't get too greedy stick them on once you've got more than enough money uh just stick them on a normal wage of uh one pound a week just to make sure that no one rolls over because otherwise you could be in a spot of bother basically and uh no one wants that so we've got 200 million in the bank and we'll carry on and i'll see you in december to see how our training of players is getting on right so we are back it's almost three months i've come back a bit early because i do have a bit of feedback on this setup uh we're getting a load of injuries i think it's because we've set everyone to high so I'm not sure if that is the reason why people are getting injured. But you'll see after 15 weeks that, for example, the keeper has gone up by 13 points in keeping. Uh, I assume some of the players who are, have been injured will not be going up as quickly. But Barry Howe is now on 49, so he's gone up by, by 13. Yeah, overwork is causing fatigue. So 
they've gone up 13 in 15 weeks. If I then carry on for another 15 weeks, that will take me to mid-March. So I'll stick everyone on low and we'll see if everyone still grows by 13 points in those 15 weeks. If they do, then there's no need to have them on high. You'll get really good results from your training regardless. Um, I guess we'll see. I don't know if there's a point where they'll just stop improving as well, but I will let you know. Right, so it's been 30 weeks. So these guys improved by 13 in 15 weeks. So he was on 56 and he's actually improved by another 15 over the next 15 weeks. I think it's inconsistent, but it's around like the one point per week. He's gone up by 28, so his is a bit more consistent. Some of these guys have been injured as well. See, anywhere between like 26 to 30 odd, um, these players have gone up by, which is incredible. So if you look at some of these players, I guess they're going to be worth a lot of money now. I keep saying there's no effect, but that's obviously incorrect. So something to keep an eye on, obviously, as your players improve, you still need to look after things like morale and their contract. Uh, and obviously as they get better they will demand more money but it just goes to show if you don't hire any staff you will save money so that's a good start and you can train them yourself even on low intensity uh, for clarity I have had it on team training with the assistant with free time on Wednesdays and yeah these players have just gone up ridiculously Barry Howe started on what 36 or something yeah 36 now up to 64 after 30 weeks almost a point a week so um probably worth doing i'm gonna really try and avoid doing that in my woking save i think i'll probably get fired before i do that but uh yeah now you know so like i mentioned i'm gonna be doing a dos box video just showing how to get that working and how to get this game working maybe a couple others i've not tried anything else yet but there are a few tutorials online but you would have seen dos box one before this one so do go check that out if you want to play usm2 see some nostalgic teams like bromsgrove rovers who i still have no idea who they are and uh, yeah, please do like and subscribe, drop a comment, leave some feedback for more. And thank you very much for watching.